Hello to my Hong Kong friends from uh, Stefan, Stefan Lede, Farmo from Barcelona. Hello to Rocky, Jackie, Bosco. I want to introduce you to some uh, very simple things about the instruments. You have uh, a small diatonic with 10 holes in C, C um, major scale, major scale, okay? So first of all, I will make a short explanation about um, music, very, very, very condensed. Uh, this harmonica has a C major scale, okay? What does it mean? First of all, I take an example of one note. Notes are um, produced when the air have a vibration, okay? For example, I'm sure you heard about that. This, that A is 40, 440 Hertz. That means only that the air move 440 times in one second. If it moves quicker, it will make another note, a higher note. And, it's, and if it moves really slow, it will make a low note. When I say that A have a frequency, the note A have a frequency of 440 Hertz, it's not really true because it depends which A, okay? This is true which, with A4. Which means that there are several A, okay? Because from one octave to the other, we repeat the same notes, one again and again and again. So the, the tone is changing from low to high, but notes repeat. How can we make the difference between a A3 and a A4? For example, it's quite simple. It's an octave. Uh, the difference is an octave, but most of all, for example, if our A4 is 440 Hertz, A3 is half. That means 220 Hertz. Okay? And A5 is the double. Okay, that means that when we have a note, if we double the frequency, we have the same note, one octave above, higher. And if we take half, uh, if we divide the frequency into, we have the same note, but one octave lower. Okay? This is basically physical law. So, in this harmonica, we have one major scale in C. Which note are this? It's quite simple. It's C, D, E, F, J, A, C, uh, B, sorry, and C. One more time. Okay? I hope you can see it. Easy. This means, for example, that this C have a frequency, we call it uh, F, and the other C are a frequency which is 2F, the double, because it's higher, okay? In the harmonica, concretely, so we have this note. A, B, and C. And then we go on. D, E, F, J, we go on. Um, from here to here, we have three octaves. That means that we have one time this, then we go on for the second octave, 
and then we go on for the third octave, higher. Okay? So there are many notes. Now, we were talking about uh, theory, and uh, let's come back to this. From one C to the other, we have seen that frequency is the double. Frequency of this one is the double of from this one, okay? This is one octave. I don't know how you write this in English. I write, I write it in French, I think maybe it's the same. One octave, okay? People make a choice a long time ago to divide, to divide this octave not in seven notes as we have in the uh, harmonica, but they used to divide it in 12 notes because it seemed that it was uh, nice to, to the ear and it was practical. So from one C to the other, really we have 12 different notes, okay? Like this. Three, six, three, six, twelve. Okay. So these um, are many notes. Uh, it's difficult to explain how, um, how historically people make some choice, but from all these notes, uh, we they, they use in. A, they use most of all in general only seven okay but uh, it depends on the culture and uh, and uh, at which uh, moment okay when i say they used to use seven it's more uh, in relationship with the occidental uh, culture in other culture they use uh, more than this anyway we have <laughs> we we said that we make it simple, okay? The, the, so most of the scale of the scale the scale are the sh the choice of which note we will use, okay? For a song, for a, for a music, most of the scale use only seven of these twelve notes, okay? For example, the one we have here, the one we talk about before, is the C major scale, and it uses the first one. For example, Do, C. The second one, we don't use it. The third one, yes. And it will be the D. The third one, we don't use it. The fourth will be E. The fifth, we use it. F. Six, no. Seven, yes, we use it. The G. Eight, no. Nine, yes, we use it. It's the A. Eleven, we don't use it. Twelve, we use it. It's the B. Ah, oh, you will write, yes. Okay. So, you can see that some notes are far away from the note before and some other no. Uh, the interval, I just don't know if, the, if it's the right word, but the interval, it's not always the same. Okay? Bet between C e and D, we have two intervals. Between D and E, we have two. But between E and F, we have only one. Okay, it changes, it depends. These are um, cultural choice. The interval, we call it half tone, okay? This is half tone, half tone. So, we can see that the scale have a structure, a structure. How is it? From the first note, to 
the second note in the major scale you have two half tones so one tone from the second note to the third one we have two half tones so one tone from the third note to the fourth we have only half one tone from the fourth to the fifth we have two half tone which is one tone and from the fifth to the sixth we have one tone from the sixth to the seventh one tone two and from the seventh to the eighth half tone so this could be the structure of the major scale 